Alabama has a rich treasure of natural resources and we are one of the shining stars of biodiversity uh, in the United States. So if we look around here, we see slopes and we see valleys and we see the sunlight above. We see closed canopies and we see open gaps and we see water running everywhere. The constant decay and renewal from one season to another has created what we've often called our Amazon. So Limestone Creek is a pretty large creek. So we can go up towards the top of this creek and you can get everything from small macroinvertebrates, follow this all the way down to where it meets the Tennessee River and where we actually have an American alligator population. Um, obviously we're in a lower area right now, but we can drive 20, 30 minutes from now and we can get higher in elevation. The tree species change, when with that comes a little bit of temperature change, a little bit of moisture difference, and that can make a total difference when it comes to species composition in our environment. I think one of the most important things about our area is the, the mountains. We're at the western edge of the Cumberland Escarpment. We have beautiful rolling hills. We have undeveloped mountains. Underneath those mountains are wonderful cave systems. We have one of the highest concentrations of vertical caves and open air shafts in the world. One of my favorite caves in northern Alabama is actually behind us uh, at Paul's Cave. And you rappel into a room that's over 300 feet tall and measures 100 feet by 110 feet. You can't explain it. It's just a feeling that you can't achieve anywhere else in the world. We are uh, fortunate to have a, a, a rich natural heritage here in Alabama. We're fourth in the nation for um, biodiversity. We rank second in the nation for the most number of extinct species. We rank fourth, again, for the most number of species in danger of extinction. But despite Alabama being such a, an important place for biodiversity, only about 4% of the land in Alabama is protected for conservation. So the, the largest environmental threat that I feel here in North Alabama, particularly in Madison County and the surrounding counties, is land loss, mainly due to development. You know, we're a growing city, and with that comes a cost. When you clear land, there's two things that you don't normally happen. One is you're directly killing wildlife. Uh, a lot of people don't sometimes realize that a lot of what we have is underground. Um, a lot of snakes, a lot of salamanders are underground. So you come scrape that all up, you've, you've killed a lot of things. So there's a direct loss of wildlife. Now for those who aren't directly impacted, then there's the indirect thing. They have to go somewhere. Uh, and unfortunately, some of these species don't move a lot or they don't move that fast. My biggest concern is that we unintentionally are creating more and more environmental problems for future generations. For a lot of us, it hasn't dawned on us what our role in this really is. Throughout human history, we, we have lived in relationship to the land and with a connection to place. In our modern culture, we have, we have broken that connection to the land. You know, we see ourselves as separate from and independent of nature, but, but that's a mistake. Um, we are as much a part of nature as all the plants and animals around us. If we are going to be successful in conservation, we have to reconnect people to the land. Just explore. You know, you're, you're never alone in the woods. Um, there's gonna be birds in this environment, there's gonna be uh, insects in this environment, other invertebrates. Um, there's gonna be occasional reptiles, amphibians, there's gonna be mammals. Uh, you might not be able to see them at all times, but you're never alone. And it's that connection that we, I think we should always hold dear to our heart. And um, sometimes if you don't get out and enjoy it, it's, you might not realize all the treasures that we have here in this place. You know, this isn't just our land. Uh, we utilize it quite a bit, maybe more than other species, but this is a system that we have to share for the greater good of, of all of us.